Hello everyone and welcome to, I guess, the return of an old series. Oh, it is uh, Club Life. I know I started this a while ago. And I thought, hell, why not do another part of it and then, well, continue it. Because I wanted to, well, start finishing off Loose End series, which I've started. And, yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, well, uh, thanks to Steam, I still have my files. So let's load back into where we were. Another Tuesday, another Tuesday, another afternoon of Enduring Melissa. Oh, yeah, we're in the, um... Tennis club, I think. I can't remember that much because it's been that long, but here we go. There she is, up in the bleachers with her precious clock. That new guy looks like he's trying to talk to her, but she's ignoring him. The good be Melissa behavior. The clock chimes. Welcome, everyone, to another glorious meeting. If I remember rightly, I think Melissa used to know us. I don't exactly remember, though. I'm certain we'll do well because who are we? Great, here we go again. Westmore High Tennis Club. I'm not shouting it, but... Now, who will lose the victory? Lady Melissa. What's wrong with these people? I regret to inform you that one of our newcomers has left us. Pity, but some, some simply cannot endure the rigors and challenges necessary for the team. There were only three of us, so it's hard to figure out. The girl who was nervous last time is someone nowhere to be seen. I wish I could quit. I didn't even know that girl's name. Or the name of Melissa's new worshipper. Wait, I don't know the name of anyone on the team. Isn't that supposed to be a social? Isn't this supposed to be a social event? Um, Sean. Eh. Yes. Is there something more important to you this year than the successor of our tennis? your tennis club. You have the distinct look on your face of someone not paying attention. Why is it so important? Uh. I guess I want to be on a good side. I'll go with I wish I can was I was convincing my whole in the team. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do, really. Sorry, sometimes I get a little caught up in my thoughts. Indeed. Try to keep your com try to keep your contemplative urges in check while you're here, and I and I can answer your question. You'll become a valuable player in the Westmore High Tennis Club and devote yourself to us. Devote? Does she want my whole life to revolve around tennis now? Alright everyone, what leads us to victory? I refuse to join the chance. chant. Lay Melissa, and practice. Excellent, we'll figure out what we left off last time. Head up and practice your moves. Newcomers, you're a pair. With any other girl gone from this club, I no, I no longer got to choose my partner. I feel a bit, I feel a little better about it with the guy who doesn't scowl as soon as I made an eye contact. Uh, hi, I'm Sean. Conversations are supposed to have two sides, come on. In response, he touches the science ball into the air and slams it towards me with his racket. The fourth plan would suggest he'd rather a more he's, he'd rather a more dangerous sport. Like dueling to the death. Ah! My tennis opponent my tennis is trying to kill me. Uh I use my tennis skills to defend myself or I tell Melissa. I guess I defend myself. Hey buddy, I played tennis as a kid. I know a trick or two. As the ball hurls towards me, I bring up my racket and knock it back at him. Ha! What ensues is the most violent match of tennis possible without anyone actually breaking the rules. Man, what is with this guy? What's with this guy? At least I held my own. I haven't felt this good about a sport in a long time. Mercifully, the hour passes without any, any injuries. Another wonderful practice. Will the next one be better? Yes, it will. I wish you a successful and fruitful week. We love you, Lady Melissa. Uh huh. Whatever. Thank God I can get out of here. Is it worth that much decoration? Maybe Miss Navarro's recommendation letters are really that important. I grab up my stuff and head for the edge of the tennis court. On the side of the bleachers by a car, Melissa beckons. I'll walk over to her. What is it? I want to discuss your attitude. This will be good. There's nothing wrong with my attitude. Ha! Let's see. You're always scowling. You don't say show as the other members. You're daydreaming during today's opening speech. And you refuse to participate in the chant. Chant? Oh, the lady Melissa nonsense. I want an explanation. What do you have against the tennis club? <sighs> I just, I'm just not a social person. Then why did you join the tennis club? You didn't join any of last years, did you? How does she know that? It's a long story. I see. Is this going to be a problem? I'm here to play tennis. What does it matter if I talk or chat or whatever else? You can't to the team spirit. We play, ten we play team tennis, not individual matches. We have to be a team player. I'll be fine. We'll see. 
And a second or two passes in silence, I turn and leave. She follows for, an op for a moment before going into the opposite direction. Does she really care about the team? Or does this have, this have something to do with me? The clock chimes. What, it's 4.45 already? I better go. I arrive early again. The only other person by the pool is Janet. She's sitting by her, towel, by her towels with a book in her hands. The book is wrapped up in a plastic bag protection against water, I assume. Oh, hello. Hey. Our fellow old Macbeth. What? Shakespeare plays. Which of these do you like better? Uh, I don't know Othello, so I'll go with Macbeth. Hmm, I'm not surprised you say that. Most people I ask prefer Macbeth. Well, you don't? It's good, but don't get me wrong. Just not as good as Othello. I've never read Othello or anything, so I can't really say my personal opinion on this whole thing. Is what is that what you're reading now? Oh no, I wouldn't risk my Shakespeare's discussion near the pool. This is an analysis I'm reading from my English class. Gotcha. Something I feel like... Sometimes I feel like... What? No, never mind. Forget I said anything. That was strange. Oh, here's the coach. Unlike our first meeting today, we didn't we didn't split into groups. Instead, the entire club is going to work together. Our hour long meeting has been divided into two. The first half hour, we're going to play a bunch of water-based games. Nothing serious, just fun stuff that you might do in parties. For the second half hour, we'll turn, we'll turn competitive. Coach finds towers race if we are in an actual swimming meet. Hmm. What is it? Uh, just wonder which part I'll enjoy more, or which part I dislike the least. It comes down to the same thing. That's the whole point of the meeting, you know. The second meeting of the, second meeting of the swimming club is always organized like this. It's meant to show off the close two aspects, entertainment and competition. By possessing in both, you can really decide which what, which do you want to focus on. What about students who have been in the club before? Don't they already know? You mean like me? Yes, but sometimes people demand to change. From what I've seen, most returning members stay in their groups. But there is some crossover too. I see. So if I wanted to, could I make up my mind now and sit this one out? I'm afraid not. It figures. This time for further conversation ends as coach starting activities. First up, fun and games with far too much giggling. We play a loose version of water polo, underwater tag, and a race to collect rings scattered around the bottom of the pool. There's not much pressure, although some people frown at me. Maybe I'm not smiling enough? After that, it's time for the competition. It's going to be a relay race, so we're split into five teams. Good luck! Oh, we're on different teams today. Same to you. We came in third. Janet's team came in second. So close. She, look, she looks a little forlorn. She grabs a towel and books and hurries towards the locker room without a backwards glance. What was that about? Oh well, maybe it's none of our bus my business. So now I've got a chance to play the games and race with the entire group. I wonder what happens next. Guess I'll find out next week. Everyone starts to leave. Yeah, I'll wait for Janet, why not? She seems upset. I don't think anyone else in the club will care. I'll just wait here for a moment for her. Every few minutes, Janet emerges from the main building with her book open. She reads as she walks. Hey. Huh? Oh. What do you want? I didn't see if you were right. That's fine, why wouldn't I be? You looked upset. I'm fine, really. Okay. I wonder what happened though. Excuse me, I really I need to get home. I'll see you next week. She increases her pace and leaves being behind at the end of all. I hope she appreciates that at least. Wait, are you sure you're... She's gone. Sometimes something's definitely bothering her and it must be around about the race. Maybe she's a very competitive person and always wants to come in first. Or maybe she dislikes competition because she doesn't want to appear more than anyone else. And maybe it's none of my business. I'm not here to make friends after all. In June, I'll be out of this place for good. This year is all I have to worry about. I just need to stay in the club to satisfy Mr. Bear. One day, three of clubs. A 3 day weekend before it all begins again. It's a normal Friday except for one oddity. As I walk through the walkways, club members have waved to me. These people aren't my friends. Why would they wave? I haven't had many real friends since the possessed with Laura, but I refuse to let through let thoughts of Laura ruin my Friday. Ah, nothing like a long week to recover from school. I can't close my eyes and pretend there's no one to bother me. I just wish the year had didn't feel so long. Another Tuesday, another afternoon of insanity with the cult of Melissa. And I'm late, so who knows what she'll do to me? What's going on? Instead of the usual snobbish aura of the telescope tension across the air, the little clusters didn't giggle and gossip but murmur together and look around. 
Melissa herself strides across the court with her hands clenched in his fists, her face tight and drawn. This can't be because I'm late. What happened? They're all still, they're all still three figures on each other to pay attention to me. The other newcomer to the club stands alone. Bro, for, bro, far over. Maybe I'll feel help. Hey, I just got here. What? He glares at me and walks away. So much for that. That's Melissa. Wait, she's climbing the bleachers. Hello, everyone. The moment is quiet down and everyone looks up at Thank you for coming today. Under the circumstances, today's meeting at the Westmore High Times Club has been cancelled. Goodbye. What? The club members all around me slowly get out of the things and did the tennis court. I'm, all, I'm so stunned by the turn of events that I'm still standing there when Melissa descended to the bleachers again. Oh, Sean, hello. Sorry, I came a little late. Late? Oh. Then you don't know. This is going to to unsettle me. What happened? Someone stole the clock. Not that she says it, I realise that there was no chime that afternoon. The golden clock of the tennis club is nowhere to be seen. Sorry to hear that, I guess? I keep wondering what about, the thief, about the thief's motive. Is it to hurt me? To sell the clock? Or to damage the tennis club morale? I don't know. Any idea who stole it? None. I don't even know for sure what it, when it happened. I left it alone for a short time after three, and when I came back it was gone. What am I going to do? If it's, if it's that important to you, then the club, doesn't anyone want to look for it? It seems devoted to you after all. I can't ask them to do that. It would be right to cut them into their free time. Therefore, the only decent time to ask anyone to investigate would be during our club meetings. Then, what, then they won't yet actually play tennis. Wow, I didn't expect her to care. I thought she'd put herself away everyone else. Now I feel kind of bad for her. I just can't believe it. Melissa looks depressed. Uh, I'll find the clock. What? You will? I'll try my best, at least. I don't mind missing the tennis games as long as you still can see me part of the club. Of course. Thank you so much. No problem. As I leave the tennis court, I can't help but make shake my head at the irony. I never thought I'd help Melissa of all people. And I can't help but feel like this school year won't be like any other. It's always so warm in here. I guess it'll be a warm. It'll be a like, welcome when winter comes. It's down six with another, another textbook in her hands. More Shakespeare. Applied mathematics. You have a reading assignment for the math? Nah, I just like to read ahead. That's different. She closes the book and joins me. Though I can say anything to her, the bell rings. It's four already? I, I must have gotten here later than usual. Not surprising. After a couple of weeks, most people who followed the come early suggestion start to slip. Is there any reason to come early? Not really. Then why does the club suggest it? Is it supposed to be for socialization? One by one, everyone joins us by the pool. Almost everyone. Where's the coach? Huh, you're right. Coach! It's four o'clock! I wonder where he is. Is weird stuff happening here too? What do we do when the coach is late? I don't know. The coach has never been late before. I guess we should proceed as usual. It's technically a student-run club after all. Everyone else looks confused as we are, but after a few minutes, we, most of us get in the pool. Small clusters of students begin swimming and playing games like our first meeting. Come on. She heads for the water, but as we reach the water, Coach hurries out for the locker room. He looks flustered. With a moment of apology, he gathers everyone around the edge of the pool. His mouth opens and then closes several times, and then he finally hands a crumbled sheet of paper to the nearest students. What the? Huh? Only the worst, most worthy of school should have their own swimming pool. Westmore High School is not worthy. When the, when the annual swim meet or the swimming club will be shut down forever. No other warning at your own risk. What the heck? Is this legitimate? How can it be? You, you, can't, you can't shut down someone's club just because they don't win a tournament? If that was possible, only one school could have a club at a time. But look at Coach. He, he's taking it seriously. Everyone looks shaken. Uh, it doesn't feel legitimate. You went to take that chance? Ignore the warning at your own risk. What if, what if whoever wrote this is telling the truth? Alright, let's assume the threat is valid. Someone is going to shut down the swimming club if we don't win the swim meet? That's not until spring. We have time. Right, there's no reason to get the swim club up for loss just yet. What should we do? Uh, train us how we can so we can win the swim meet. Not find out who it is. It's obvious, isn't it? If we win, we have nothing to worry about. Well, can we guarantee victory? 
No other team has the motivation we do. If we unite to save the club, no one can stop us. Jan and I purposely take to the water. We have to set a good example. If we do, the rest of the swim meet team may take this seriously. Janet practice kicking off the on the wall. I do dives. We pass each other in a familiar pattern. Janet does a particularly quick turn and kicks off towards me again. I inhale pool water. Once service, I try to look as normal as possible without silently choking. I'd rather not draw attention to the fact that I'm, that I'm dying. I fail. Are you alright? Got some water in my lungs on the last dive. I'll be fine. Here she visibly relaxes. Alright, but get back to it soon. In a flash, she darts beneath the water again. As we change, we meet again by the side of the pool. The blackmailer business really is nerve wracking, isn't it? Sean, thank you for helping. You're welcome. Protecting the swimming club from a serious blackmailer is a lot more than I bargained when I joined. I should really remember to turn my, turn my Steam notifications off. Anyway, bargain for when I joined. This, year's, this school year is getting really weird. Another week of school. Alright, uh, that's why I'm going to cut that part here. I'm probably going to do a couple more parts. i upload it every two or three days, I think. It's probably the best thing for me with, to do with my work next week, given what, what shifts I'm on. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later, everyone.